Biden's presentation was focused on our most precious commodity, time. Built as a smart device, the Biden concept is an electric car with a focus on connectivity and autonomous mobility, creating not so much a car, but a digital space. There, occupants won't just be going somewhere, but be making use of the time while they're on the go. The Biden concept is an all electric vehicle with the shape and dimensions of a crossover that's less about the driving and more about making use of the time spent en route. On the outside, the electric SUV stretches more than 15 feet and has a 9.6 foot wheelbase. The exterior is bereft of things like handles and even mirrors, opting for facial recognition in the B pillar to allow for entry and rear view cameras eyeing things in the rear. That is if you'll be doing any driving. Prepped with the hardware for level three autonomy, it's got what it needs to switch to level four by way of a simple software update. While there is a driver's seat with its own wheel and mounted touchscreen, the interior is all about creating an enjoyable digital space for work or play. Adorning the button-free dashboard is a meter-long shared experience display where occupants can presumably do things like watch movies together. The absence of a center console, plus the ability for the front seats to rotate 12 degrees inwards, drives home the fact that the Byton is shooting to make the cabin more of a lounge than a traditional car experience. Interactivity with the vehicle won't be through buttons, but through the aforementioned driver touchscreen, as well as two seat-mounted displays for rear entertainment. If any further interaction is needed, it's through hand gestures that are said to be very intuitive. Integrated Amazon Alexa will round out the input options. A rear drive model will be kitted with a 71 kilowatt hour battery pack that will have 248 miles of range, while the all wheel drive model will have a 95 kilowatt hour battery pack, extending the range to 328 miles. Byton says either will charge up to 80% within 30 minutes, but it's unclear as to what wattage will allow that. It's also unclear as to the performance capabilities. The rear drive model will be powered by a single motor that'll turn out 200 kilowatts or 295 pound-feet of torque. The all-wheel drive model will have an additional motor that'll help lay down 350 kilowatts or 523 pound-feet of torque, neither of which are unsubstantial. Here's the kicker. Biden claims that the car will be available in 2019 in China and 2020 in the US with a starting price of just $45,000. There's a lot to unpack here, but let's acknowledge the fact that we've heard a lot of these promises before. The talk of level three to level four autonomy and making your car a workspace is something we expect sooner from Volvo than anyone, for starters. The fact that concepts have been re replacing mirrors with cameras has been a near 20 year tradition at this point too. Facial recognition, driver profiles, and even heart rate monitoring sound more like features designed to make the car's connection to smartphones more pronounced. That being said, if the China-based company can make it happen, it's certainly a step towards normalizing the notion of a car being more of a mobile workspace than ever before. Like all who came before, we'll watch Byton's progress with optimism, but we won't get our hopes up just yet.